Hi guys, welcome to J Exploit. Okay guys, my name is Zidin and in this video we are going to discuss about some of the scanning techniques used in Nmap. By using scanning techniques we can explicitly mention what type of scan Nmap have to do. The scanning technique uses the process in well-known TCP three-way handshake to find the information that we need. So I believe you guys are familiar with the TCP three-way handshake process. The three-way handshake process is used by two systems before they establish a TCP connection. For example, there are two systems A and B and A want to establish a connection to B over the port 22 that is SSH. So at first A will send a synchronized packet to B and if the port is open and everything is fine then B will respond back with a synchronized acknowledged packets. So once A get the response from B, it will confirm it by sending an acknowledged packet to B. This is TCP three-way handshake. Not only that, Nmap also uses TCP window size to find whether a port is open or not. The window size is basically the size of the packet that is sent to the host. If you have ever used a Linux system to ping a target or a host, it will show some information in bytes transferred to the host. That is basically the window size. Now let's move on to the demo. Okay, so now we are going to see some of the scanning techniques used in Nmap. The first one is TCP SYN port scan. So in order to do the SYN port scan, you have to type the command nmap space hyphen smallest capital S space the target. In this case, it is 192.168.0.105. So what nmap is going to do here is, it is going to send a synchronized packet to the host, just like in the case of TCP three-way handshake. If the port is open, then the host will send back the synchronized acknowledgement packet. Once nmap receives that packet, it will kill the connection by sending a reset packet. It will not establish the connection as in the three-way handshake because the synchronized acknowledgement packet received from the host is good enough for nmap to know that the particular port is open. Okay, so now let's see the results. So it is scanning and we have the results. So these are the open ports in that particular host and the scanning took 0 0.40 seconds. Okay, so now the second one is the TCP port scan. So in order to do the TCP port scan, you have to type the command nmap space hyphen smallest capital T space the target. In this case is 192.168.0.105. So in some cases the SYN port scan will not work if you don't have proper privileges. In those scenarios you can do a complete TCP port scan. In this the nmap will undergo all the three-way handshake process to dictate whether the port is open or not. Okay so now let's see the results. So these are the open ports dictated by nmap by doing the TCP port scan. Sorry I missed out one thing here, it is that once the nmap gets to know whether the port is open or not by undergoing all the three-way handshake process, it will then send a reset packet to the host to kill the connection. Usually in proper three-way handshake, the system has to send pin request to terminate the connection. But in this case, nmap will send reset packet to terminate the connection. So the next one is UDP port scan. So in order to do the UDP port scan, you have to type the command nmap space hyphen small s capital U space the target, which is 192.168.0.105. So in order to complete the UDP port scan, it will take a lot of time. So I am restricting it to a single port by typing hyphen p and 53. 53 is the port for DNS. Now let's see whether this particular port is open or not. And nmap has started scanning but this port is not open, it is closed. So in this way you can do the UDP scan. If you don't specify the port, then nmap will scan all the thousand ports and it will take a lot of time. The fourth one is TCP acknowledge scan. So in order to do that, you have to type the command nmap space hyphen smallest caps a space the target which is 192.168.0.115 in this case. So what nmap going to do here is it is going to send the acknowledgement packet to the host. 
And if that particular port is reachable with the acknowledgement packet, then the Nmap will tell you that the particular port is not filtered. Okay, so let's see the results. And Nmap has scanned all the thousand ports and as you can see, all the thousand ports are unfiltered. That means it is reachable by sending acknowledgement packets. Now the last one is TCP window port scan. In order to do that, you have to type the command nmap space hyphen s caps w space the target. In this case, let it be 192.168.0.105. So what nmap is going to do here is it is going to analyze or examine the window value of the reset packet that is returned. If the value of the reset packet is positive, then that particular port is open. And if the value is zero, then that particular port is closed. Okay guys, that's pretty much from this video. Before we wrap it up, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the latest video updates. See you soon with the next video. Till then, bye-bye.